Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sheba, and I'm on here with series number two for me for the hashtag Sat More Makes series hosted by Jill Norwood here on YouTube. If you guys are not subscribed to Jill, go over and check out her channel and see all her beautiful tags and cards that she creates and she shares with us here on Saturday mornings and just throughout the week sometimes. Um, I will have the link to her channel in the description box down below. And hello to you, Jill, if you're watching. I'm enjoying, even though it's a series number two for me, but I've been enjoying creating and sharing with you all here on YouTube. So before I get started with sharing with you all what I created, I hope that you're all having a wonderful weekend so far. And as always, I'd like to thank all of my new and returning subscribers for coming back to my channel and watching my videos. So I thank you all so much for that. So I did go ahead and use this Sunset Fields paper pad that I got from Michaels. Um, I did share this in my haul video. It was buy one, get two, for, get two free. And I love this paper pad because I love the sunflowers in here. It's just a beautiful uh, paper pad. I'm loving it. And when I seen it, I already had an idea of what I wanted to use it with. I love this uh, like light tan gingham check. Um, I did use some of this. Look at these sunflowers, you guys. So pretty. The uh, wood grain. Look at this page. Really pretty. I didn't use that page, but I will on something else. You got your uh, like border strips. This buffalo check. Just a really pretty paper pad. And so, like I said, I knew what I wanted to use it for when I seen it. Love this page with the sunflowers. This is a beautiful page as well. So, yeah. So, that is Sunset Fields. I just want to do a quick flip in case you hadn't seen it. Um, I also use uh, my Memento Tuxedo Black just for stamping. I use the Distressed uh, Ink and Tea Dye. I also use this um, Oval Dye. And I did get this from Hobby Lobby uh, about a year or so ago when they had a clearance. And then I also use... Um, I got this from Alley, but I use the second to the largest size it's a scallop stitch die but it doesn't cut out the whole die it actually cuts out the rectangular piece in the middle and so i just use that rectangular piece in the middle for some layering and then i did use this large stitched uh rectangular die that i got from queen of craft and the um item that i use to create with which i really have been enjoying um seeing a lot of ladies here on youtube share their wood block stamps so let me go ahead and show what i use so this is a stamp that i use and i got this locally from um a local well i got it from the um thrift store yeah i got it from the, i got some of myself from the thrift store and then some from the goodwill and so i have not done a stamp wood stamp haul with you all yet but i will but this is the stamp that i use and this is a hero art stamp from 1996 and it is called sunflower gal so yeah so she's holding a basket of sunflowers so so cute and like i said i'm loving these vintage stamps you know your crafting style changes and you get into things that you never thought you would get into but when i be seeing like jill's creations using her vintage stamps and just other ladies here on youtube using their stamps it kind of grew on me and i've been really enjoying collecting the ones that i have so far so like i said i'll do a separate video on my woodblock stamps so that's what i use and then i also use um, my Ohuhu markers, and then I also use a couple colors of uh, Copic markers. So those are the items that I use. So I did create some cards, you guys. So the first card I'm going to share with you guys, I did create these about two weeks ago. Maybe a little bit longer, not for sure. So this is the first card that I created. And these are not my favorite cards, but um, I still like them. Um, so here's that oval die. And then here's my girl that I colored in with the Ohuhu markers. And then her skin tone and her little rosy cheeks is with the Copic. The paper collection is from Michaels as well, but I did I do not have it anymore because I got rid of a lot of my paper pads that I had that, were, that I've been having in my stash for a long time. And it was just time to replace them with some new ones. So I got rid of a whole bunch, you guys, even with the iris cases. But I still have a lot. And it's, yeah, I still have a lot. Anyway, so... That's the paper uh, from one of the paper fall paper pads. And then here's that uh, lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. And then I used the sunflower sticker from Hobby Lobby. And then I didn't do anything to the inside. So 
it'll just have to be what it is because I don't have the paper pad anymore. So yeah, so that's that one. And then I made another one using a different fall paper pad that I also got rid of. Um, and I did distress the edges, as you can see on the card, I did distress it. And I did the stressing on this one as well with that T die. And then just the same concept, just a different color. I kind of did this one, kind of like this one right here, just a little bit, kind of just, you know, uh, color like this color here. So yeah, if that makes sense, I was trying to get that out. And then, so here's this one. And like I said, I was trying to make it vintage looking, you know, since it's kind of a vintage stamp. And so uh, distress the edges, we have the lace ribbon here on the side. And then I put the uh, sunflower here from Hobby Lobby on this side. So they're just opposite. And then I didn't do anything on the inside of this one either. So those are the first two cards that I created. And then last night, cause I know I wanted to make some more cards using this particular paper pad. So I created this particular card, which I love the way this one turned out. And so this card right here is a little bit, it's not as wide as the first two cards that I just shared with you. So here is this card. And so I just did some layering of the papers out of the paper pad. I love the way this turned out. I just forgot to distress the edges of the papers, which is fine. I'm, I'm not going to even trip about it. And then um, I use a gray bow. These I got like a bag full of bows from Allie a couple years ago in different colors. And so I used a gray bow since I colored her dress in gray. And again, coping markers for her skin and her little rosy cheeks. And then the rest of it is a hoo hoo. And then I put some bling on the corners of this side. And then I did do some layering on the inside of the card just to write a message. So I love the way this turned out. And I did use 110 pound cardstock for the card base, if I didn't mention that. And then you guys, I had to throw in some pink in there somewhere. So here's a card that I made this morning. And I love the way this one came out, the colors of it. So I use that light tan, like buff, uh, gingham check paper for the layering and then the sunflower paper and then just like the solid paper from here. And I love the way this turned out. Again, a hoo hoo markers for most of the coloring and then her skin tone and her little really cheeks are Copic. I have a little pink bow from that bow bag, that bag of bows that I have. I just thought it went perfect with this color theme. And then I just put some bling in the corners here. And I love, like I said, I love the way this turned out. And then that is the inside of the card. So those are my creations that I created for hashtag Satmore Makes. Again, hosted by Jill Norwood. I will have the link to her channel in the description box down below. I hope that you all enjoyed my project share of my cars. I've been loving making cars, just trying to get into car making. And it has been a lot of fun. And like I said, I've been enjoying making them. So I do want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great weekend. I have a three-day weekend, you guys, because I'm off on Monday. So it gives me an extra day for the weekend. And I'm so excited. So yeah, so anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You all have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.